afternoon. It's uh, Friday, 10th of July. That's why I'm back talking about farmers, because they be uh, they were protesting outside of Westminster the other day, Wednesday, I think, or Thursday, yesterday. Uh, just because they look like losing uh, some subsidies. Probably the only industry in Great Britain that is subsidised. And, uh, well, I've been doing a bit of research onto these subsidies and I've come up with some, like, surprising, surprising results. I'll just read them to you. So, uh, the farm in question is an arable farm, not a million miles from me, 1,500 acres in size. Uh, but this applies to all farms, so they get a single farm payment, 220 quid an acre per year. So, 1,500 times 120 in this case. And then... If they put a bird box up, like they've like seen on Country Fell, I'm sure they've seen our farmers print bird boxes up. They get a £20 per year per bird box. I've got five or six if I don't get no money for a bird box. If they put an owl box up, then they get £50 a year. Uh, if they've got a bit of marshland or rough land, what's almost impossible to farm, and they leave that fallow, they call it a lapwing plot. They get £400 a year for that per acre per year. Grassland, so this particular farm, it, it runs onto a river bank, a river flood bank, so it's impossible to farm, so they leave it, and they claim that as grassland, so they get tons of pounds per acre per year for grassland. Uh, this is a good one. If they leave the margins on this farm, they get 65,000 pound. Margins is our margin, sectors with round it. Such as width round each field to get 65 grand a year for that. So that's not bad. Uh, then, if they're planting any trees, they get, I think, £1.48 per, per twig or see what they put in ground. Uh, if they let the farm land out so to, a, to another a contract farmer like say, or a contract farmer, I have to pay them £4, £400 per acre for growing some carrots or £200 per acre for growing potatoes. Uh, then they've got all the little tickles like caravan storage, shooting, if they've got a pony paddock, if they've got some woodland they can get a grant from Forestry Commission to look after that. They even get a grant to grow nuts, for growing nuts, almonds, walnuts, pistachios, hazelnuts, that sort of thing. Uh, if they've got an aero mast on there, like some have for mobile phones, you get seven grand a year for that, depending on how many companies is linked to it. If the pylons get paid for having a pylon on, then they have di diversification grants. So if they want to put some holiday cottages on the farm, they can put, apply for a grant and they may, I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but they may get money for grants. Uh, there's various stewardships where they can apply to for and schemes, like environmental and that. And like all that is coming in before they put the jacket on and go through it, do it and do any actual work. And they, these people are, are complaining that they're badly done too. If it's so bad, I wonder why you see gen, uh, three, two, three, four generations of farmers farming the same land. If it's so much of a struggle, you'd jump out and get another job. If it don't pay, why would James Dyson be buying lots of agricultural land? I'll tell you why, because if you've got a thousand acres at hundred and twenty pounds an acre per year, that's a lot more profit than what you get with that money when you buy a thousand acres with in the bank. It's a license to print money. And the voter breaks it, and the voter for Tories, they're losing the subsidies. <laughs> they'll show the Senate head. Idiots.